These female sea lions mated a year ago. The fertilized egg fixed itself to the womb wall, tapped the mother's blood supply and grew month after month. Now that long development is over and the labor of entering the outside world has begun. The membranes that held the fluid within which the infant swam while it was within its mother's body still partially enclose it. For all mammal babies, the shock of leaving the warm, totally protected haven of a mother's body and entering the harsh, relatively cold, danger-filled world outside is inevitably traumatic. Baby antelopes, whose parents have to travel continuously to find food, must be as fully developed as possible, for they need to walk within hours groggy though they may be. Chinchillas are born in the high Andes. Their world is a very cold one. Their mothers make no nests for them, so they are born fully furred. Were they not, they might freeze to death. Hyena babies need not be so advanced, for they're born within a den where their powerful mother has little difficulty in defending them. So she can get rid of their bulk and weight while they're still at an early stage of their development. As soon as they emerge, like all young mammals, they must find their mother's teat and start to suckle. <laughs> 